Hello, we're here with Phil Shaw, co-founder and co-CEO of TransPerfect. Uh, Phil, you've uh, been working with and uh, building TransPerfect for 25 years now, and this year it might quite possibly become the world's largest uh, language service provider. So what would you say would be your most successful strategy to growing the business over the years? Well, I think a, a very important strategy for uh, Translation or any other companies is to really uh, run the sales organization as a separate organization. Uh, than the production organization. Many companies in our industry tend to, to promote or have people get uh, industry knowledge by working in production and then move them on to, to sales. But I think that those things, the earlier on in your growth of a company in the life cycle of you are as a company from startup to, to uh, large corporation, the earlier you can separate those and really run them as separate businesses, I, I think the better off you'll be as a corporation. Okay, so that's from an organization structure. And then in terms of expanding your revenue on the sales side, um, what were some of the challenges you may have faced in terms of expanding internationally? Well, I expanding internationally is, it's a, it's a difficult challenge always. And the way to, to optimally do it, we couldn't always do it this way, is to have potentially this experience, uh, someone from your home office's experience, uh, going with uh, a local presence who understands the culture and the market that you're in. I'd say that's the ideal scenario. Um, we can't. We, you know, we have 100 offices around the world, so we co always couldn't do it that way. We didn't have the critical mass and, and the size necessary. But I think combining someone who knows your business really well and understands the culture and understands how things work internally with a local who has um, presence and understands the, the the different culture that they're that they're selling into and knows the local market is the optimal solution. Okay. And so now that you've identified the right type of talent that you want, how do you incentivize them and retain them? Um, well, we incentivize them and retain them. Uh, I mean, we have heavily commission-based plans, as you heard, heard me say earlier. Um, we have he heavily commission-based plans, but we also, uh, so, so we, we really work to align incentives. And a, a thing to understand that's important is not everyone's motivation is money just because they're in sales. So, uh, you know, our definition of, of success is really progression and it can change per, per employee. So you can have greater financial rewards, you can have uh, greater managerial opportunities, you can have the special training or knowledge that, that you learn and we send you to a course. Uh, or you can have intangibles, you like the corner office. So there are all these things that can motivate someone. Um, and what we try to do is, is, uh, is with the manager's job is, is to help figure out what that is and align incentives. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you.